Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually giving you a hair video. Here is my jumbo braids. These are the first jumbo box braids I've done. And this is the third time I've ever braided my hair. So this is very beginner friendly. So let's just get into it. So I'm just starting with already parted hair. I did it the night before. Um, I washed it, put in product, and just parted it and twisted it the night before and slept in it like that. And so for the first part, I just did ear to ear with three sections, as you see. And then the second row, I did from temple to temple with five sections. You can see there's a slight curve with the parting. And then the last section, I just split my hair down the middle and did three little parts within each side of that. The parts are definitely not perfect, but I did try to get them as sleek as I could. Since they are jumbo, you will notice them a lot more. And so these are the products I used in my hair. And this is the braiding hair I'm using. I got it from Amazon. There's no scent to it, which was great. They do get tangled kind of easily, um, but that's the only complaint I really have about this hair. And so as you can see, I'm just starting by taking a section of hair and splitting a fourth of it. And I'm just going to loop it around that original section, as you see, like that, making three little parts. And then you're going to want to take some gel. I'm using Stein and Jam, but you can use whatever you prefer. And this is just going to help make the parting even more sleek. So I'm going to focus it more around those parts that I made, um, but also having it basically all around my scalp and even within my hair to try and hide the hair within the braid better. And I'm doing the rubber band method as you see, so I'm just gonna rubber band my hair like so. I'm usually more of a knotless braider type of gal, but since this was the first time I'm doing my jumbo braids, I wanted it to be as sleek as possible. So I just opt for the rubber band method. And as you see, I'm just going to place the third strand right on top of my natural hair. And I'm just going to start braiding. I'm going to start braiding from underneath instead of above to help with the tightness of it. And so I'm just going to braid maybe like three times and then look at my scalp to make sure that my braid is covering that rubber band that I placed. And if it didn't, then I'm going to restart and try to make it tighter and more above that rubber band. And as you saw right there, I just checked to see the tightness of it. And since it was pretty tight, I just kept on going. But if it wasn't, I would have just started over, which is why it's important to check early on so you're not having to rebraid the entire thing. And then I really wish I could braid at this speed. That would make this process a lot faster. But I am a newbie, so I do take a bit longer time to braid. Um, this whole look did take maybe about three hours to braid fully without the parting. The parting probably took like two hours last night, which is why as a beginner, I definitely recommend doing those two things on different days. But as you can see, I just braided all the way down until I couldn't, and I just started cutting any strands that were spewing out. And here I am just showing you how I did the parting of the braiding hair again. Like I said, I really do like this hair, especially because whenever I would wash my scalp while having this hair, the braids wouldn't be dripping for hours. I could just towel dry the ends of the braid for a couple of minutes and they'd just be damp, no drippage or anything like that. So I really do like this hair, even if it does get a little tangled. But here I am just showing you how I did that braid again. Doing the braid from underneath instead of above while doing this rubber band method that I'm doing is really helpful to make sure that everything is sleek and tight. I couldn't really imagine doing it from above. I don't honestly know how you could achieve that very well, but I am a newbie so it might be possible. I'm not sure. But I just continue to braid all the way down. Also, I put that gel throughout my hair just to try and help tuck that natural hair better within the braid. My hair is pretty poofy, 
so it was kind of difficult to hide my natural hair within the braid so I probably would have just put a little bit more gel in there or I wouldn't have brushed out my hair after taking it out of the twists from the night before because that helped it not be as poofy and here I am just showing you one more time how I did the braid the key really is to make sure the hair is sitting above the rubber band and having a good grip um, which is why I opted for the rubber band method because my grip isn't very good currently so with jumbo braids the sleekness needs to be pretty on point as well as the thickness of the braiding hair you get so I would focus mostly on those two things making sure you're getting enough braiding hair because if you don't you probably gonna look like that doll from um, Rugrats that Angelica would have all the time so <laughs> it is important to make sure you get enough thickness as well I sway a lot when I'm standing so I apologize for that especially since it's sped up <laughs> But I just finished that braid off until I can't braid anymore again as you see and then I just cut some of the strands off at an angle and that's me just checking to make sure that the parts look nice and there I am again just cutting off any excess at the ends. These braids are definitely not perfect but I do like them a lot and I think with practice I'll get even better. I do like to curl my ends of the braid. I got these flexi rods at General Dollar actually and so depending on the color the tighter or less tight your curls may be. As you see in this clip I got the pink ones but afterwards I end up changing into the blue ones which is a smaller rod so the curls are tighter. But as you can see, you just wrap your ends around the flexi rod and then you'll just fold them into the hair to kind of tighten them a little bit. As you can see, I just wrap them around the middle and I might roll it up a tad just to help with the tightness and the hold of it. And... I'll just fold them in on themselves to try and make sure they're tight. As you can see, just going to do that with the last sections. And then I just dipped them in hot water. Um, I do think for this hair, you need boiling hot water. This was just hot water from the spout. And so they didn't curl as nicely. So when I went back in with the blue flexi rods, I did dip them in boiling hot water instead and so the curl was better. Please do not dip your natural hair into boiling hot water though, so try and make sure it's at the ends. But this is the curls with the blue flexi rod and the final look. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit and let me know if you guys end up trying this look. I really do like it and it's a great summer look and doesn't take as long as regular braids. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!